In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create seven circles infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks when I clicked. You can see here the seven circle comes. The first one you can add in the center your title or the headline here. Then I have added uh, three circles to the right and three circles to the left. And here I've put like title A, B and C. And on the left side, I've put title one, two and three. And then I've added uh, different icons and different different color combinations. So depending on your requirement, you can fully edit the slide. And likewise, I have created one more with some slight difference. You can see here it comes something like this. So depending on your requirement, whichever slide you need, you can just choose the slide from. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 to do this. However, with the older version of PowerPoint also, this can be done. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide. Go to View. Enable the Guides. Then go to Insert. Shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the oval, click here and shape outline, make it no outline, the height and width, I'm going to make it as 2.4 and then you can just align center, align middle and then shape fill, I'm going to give maybe some light color and shape outline, you can give some white color, sorry, black color and you can just increase the weight of that one all right so then i'm going to add one more shape so go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select which is block r just click it here you can see here shape outline make it no outline now this one i'm going to make the height and width as 2.5 you can see something like this and then you can just reduce the width okay maybe this much i'm going to keep it and rotate you can see here i can just make it rotate left 90 degrees and place it exactly here in the center all right something like this maybe we need to just make it somewhat down all right then i'm going to add one more oval shape you can select the oval shape again small oval you can just hold the shift key reduce the size you can see here maybe 0.85 and then for this i'm going to give uh you can see here i'm going to give color which is white the outline and shape fill i'm going to give any good color maybe a uh, pink and shape outline i'm just going to increase the weight all right something like this you can see here and give some shadow effect which is the this shadow effect here and this blue color also i'm going to fill this with sorry not this one this one i'm going to fill this with pink now once this is done you can just add the text so i can just add my title here and center align you can make it bold if you want reduce the size and then i'm going to give the same color here for this move it somewhat up and then add some detailed text equals lorem within bracket one so this will give me some text latin text i'm going to delete the unwanted then i'm just going to center align reduce the font size all right and then i'm just going to place it here exactly Or I can just reduce further you can see here I'm going to place it here this one somewhat bring it down so you can see here one of my shape is ready so I'm just going to select all of this and press ctrl G to group it now let me just keep this aside here as one then I'm going to add one more shape okay I'm going to add oval shape here I'm going to make the height and width as 2.2 both all right shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice align center align middle and i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate the height and width i'm going to change to 2.6 all right and shape outline i'm going to give some gray color 
shape fill make it no fill and shape outline you can give some dotted lines here and then you can increase the weight also you can see here and this also align center align middle now what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to put it one by one press ctrl d and exactly put it in the center this one all right and then i'm going to place this somewhere here and one more press ctrl d i'm going to place it somewhat here all right make sure that the spaces are equal all right maybe a line left i can make it and then i'm going to select this one duplicate bring the other side rotate i can make it flip horizontal you can see here and again make sure that the equal space is given there and then press ctrl d to duplicate and again i'm just going to add this side here all right all right and then press ctrl d and add one more at the bottom yeah i think this okay if not we can change it later on also not a problem so we have to check make that this also and this and this also align left and this is perfect this and this also it's okay looks okay all right now once this is done what we can do is if you want you can just move it further also not a problem all right so depending on your requirement remove the guidelines and then i'm going to connect this one with the help of the line so go to shapes select the line you can see here from here till the center shape outline you can give this color also or you can just increase the weight also then you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to attach it till here then if you want you can add some small oval shapes also so let me just add some small oval shapes here i can make it maybe 0.2 height and width all right and let me just put it here exactly shape outline no outline all right and press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to add one here and i'm just going to drag this one down here and let me just select both again hold the ctrl shift key together and then just add it here all right now i'm just going to duplicate this this one i'm going to connect this one and it should be here till here all right again ctrl d just rotate it you can see here i'm just rotating it and i'm just putting it here press ctrl d to duplicate again rotate all right you can rotate once again or you can just use this also if it is not rotation is not working properly then you can just do this also all right so you can see here with this we have completed the design now it's time to change the color so i'm just going to select this one and shape fill maybe i'm going to give a kind of this color you can see here and this also here and this also small also i'm going to give the same color and here i have to give the orange or pink color so depending on your requirement you can just change any color of your choice i'm going to give orange let me just fill this with orange here also i'm going to choose orange and this side let me just choose maybe a kind of a dark teal color here also the same and here also and again the text also we have to just change that one according to the same color all right like this for this also we need to change it to orange this one to some this color which is the dark yellow okay and then let me just change few other colors also so i'm just going to select maybe a kind of a light blue all right so i have forgot to copy it here press ctrl d to duplicate 
add here also so here also the same color all right and then let me just change it the font color also and the last one i'm going to give maybe green color all right and this also green and this also green and the text also will be green so you can see here our design is ready now you can go to insert text box you can add the headline here all right center align i'm going to choose white format align center align middle and if you want to increase the size also you can increase if you want you can make it bold and again make sure to align center and align middle so with this we have completed the design and if you want to add some basic animation you can add the animation and again if you are using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert icons you can insert the icons onto this a particular options or you can just put maybe one two three four also so for example let me just put say this is zero one for example white font make it bold increase the size you can see here this is one press ctrl d all right and ctrl d add it here add one by one so you can see uh, maybe i can say this is one this is two this is three four five and six so let's uh, add the animation before adding the animation let me just group this one you can see here i'm just going to group this objects one by one all right so let me just group this without this line ctrl g and here also hold the shift key and click on the line that will be removed press ctrl g to group it and here ctrl g and here also ctrl g to group it and the last top let me just do it once again ctrl g okay so you can see here all this one has been grouped okay so now let me just add the animations go to the animation enable the animation pane and if you want to animate this also you can just group this also okay so let's do this animation first so add animation more basic effects basic zoom click ok all right and then this should come for this i'm going to make it fly in or i can just delete this one i'm going to choose all one two three four five and six and then fly in animation i'm giving okay so this fly in animation this should come you can see here from this side all right this should come from right all right this will come this has to come from bottom right this has to come from bottom left this should come from left and this should come from bottom top left all right so this should happen after previous so let me just play when i click so you can see here all it comes one and then we can add this also wipe effect okay wipe effect and then this should happen after previous so let me just play now so you can see here it looks very <laughs>